Am I really making a video about a hard drive that I just built? Yes, yes I am. No economics here today. I just built this Trebly hard drive and I kind of geek out over this stuff and it's so good that I thought I would share it with any of you who might be interested in looking for the best, the fastest hard drive external SSD available. For about the last two years, I have been on the hunt for an extremely fast SSD, specifically one that is Thunderbolt. And so USB-C, Thunderbolt, they've got the same connection, but they've got different internal parts. And so Thunderbolt is much faster. Now in my searching, I came across obviously a lot of pre-built ones, but I always ran into issues once I started looking at the reviews and looking at the how the speed slows down depending on the file size. And obviously, since I do work with video, I constantly using very large files. And so any of these hard drives, when you get large file sizes, sometimes 10 gigs, 50 gigs, 100 gigs, the speed slows down and you're not able to use any of the Thunderbolt speeds. So when I came across this video from Max Tech, I just had to try it out for myself. Now, normally keep in mind, I am not the type of person that would ever build something like this just for fun. In fact, I'd probably pay double to have this thing built for me and pre-assembled. But after seeing how easy it was, I just couldn't resist. So what exactly is this? Well, it's two parts, basically. It's an enclosure kit and it's the actual SSD, one that you would just put in a computer. And so essentially all you have to do is open this up and stick in your hard drive, your SSD of choice, and then put it back together. And I'm gonna show you exactly how fast that was right now. Okay, I'm opening up the box and it's pretty good packaging. It's got a screwdriver and the screws that you need. That blue strip is gonna be a thermal tape. It's got two cords. One is USB-C to USB-A. The other one is Thunderbolt. Now I've got the enclosure here. Just take out the screws with the uh, provided screwdriver. Pretty easy, take it apart. And now we open up the SSD itself. Really, really great packaging here. That's a nice case. There's the drive, stick it in. It goes in one way, put this provided screw in to hold it in place, open up the thermal tape, place it on top. And then we put the uh, top back on the enclosure there, put the four screws that are provided back in and uh, easy peasy. Now we are done just like that. So how fast is this thing? Well, you can see from my screenshot of my read and write test that I exceeded the 2527 read and write speed, got about 26 on write and 27 on read. Now other drives that are pre-built will advertise this as their top speed, but what they don't tell you is that if you have a large file size, it can't reach anywhere near that speed. And this is because of technical bottlenecks, like literally imagine a bottleneck. If something's too big to fit through a bottleneck, you have to move it through piece by piece. If something's small enough to fit through the bottleneck, it can just go right through at any speed. And so this, based on whatever technical wizardry they have built into this enclosure, doesn't have as small of a bottleneck. And so the large file sizes can still zip on through at the full speed. Now it comes with a high quality, high speed, actual Thunderbolt cable, which is nice because this is the only bottleneck then. So you get the full speeds out of Thunderbolt instead of being artificially limited by whatever the enclosure can do. Now, the other cool feature about this drive is that it can also connect with USB instead of Thunderbolt, which again, it's the same size connector. And so that's nice because some Thunderbolt drives, if you use a regular USB and stick it into a computer with USB and not Thunderbolt, it won't be able to work. So this does both. Now it's slower with USB-C, but uh, you can still use it. So how much does this all cost? Well, the enclosure itself is $150 and the one terabyte drive that I have inside is $130. I'll have both of these Amazon links in the description below, just in case you're interested in building it yourself. This puts the total for this drive at right about $280, which is cheaper than most one terabyte Thunderbolt drives. Now, not only is it cheaper, but it also blows them out of the water in speed tests, especially with large files. So all in all, if you are in the market for an extremely fast external SSD, you regularly deal with large files and you have Thunderbolt on your devices, you just can't beat this option. But you let me know, this obviously isn't my area of expertise. I've been shopping for a fast SSD for a couple of years now, and this is the best option I've found, but there might be some better options out there. Let me know in the comments if I've missed something. As always, really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.